Hey y'all, it's The Traveling Writer, and today we're going to be reviewing The New Yorker Hotel by Wyndham. Okay, so let's get right to it. First and foremost, um, I think one of the best parts of The New Yorker Hotel is the location. The location was absolutely perfect. It was in the heart of New York City in Midtown, and The New Yorker Hotel is about 10 to 15 minutes walking from some of the biggest tourist attractions. I think it's about 10 minutes walking from Madison Square Garden, the Empire State Building, and of course, the famous Times Square. I personally loved the location because it has access to all the major subway lines, which will get you in and out of all of the other boroughs, um, and even New Jersey. Okay, so I got there around 11 o'clock a.m. and I tried to do early check-in, but they were trying to charge me more than I paid as a nightly rate. So I ended up just checking my bags for $5 per bag. Yes, you heard that right. Anyway, while waiting for my room, I toured the lobby and lower level. The lower level has a business center, a gym that I believe was temporarily closed due to COVID restrictions, and a museum with history about the hotel. All throughout the hotel, they had little history cards and notes on the outside of the doors. This one here shows the room Nikola Tesla lived and studied in. So my room was ready about two o'clock, still upset about paying $5 for a closet to babysit my bag for three hours. I checked the bags out and headed to my room. The room was the size one would expect a Manhattan hotel to be. While small, it was efficient and it did the job. It was pretty much bed, view, closet, and bathroom, which is honestly enough for this type of trip. I was a little shocked that there was not a refrigerator, but honestly, I hardly use hotel refrigerators, so life went on. Other than that, the hotel room was pretty standard and it definitely met my expectations. I loved, loved, loved the view. I loved it because it wasn't too high. High views make it hard for me to people watch, which is like a pastime, um, because you know, the people turn into little dots on a grid, the higher you are up. We will just peek into the bathroom, which was hard to record given the size. The bathroom was very vintage. I like the word vintage instead of outdated. It gave a warm New York, old school hotel vibe. Now let's get the pricing and all that good stuff. So when I travel, I normally don't have specified travel dates. So I tend to travel when it's cheapest. To figure out when a hotel's cheapest, I put it into Google Hotels and toggle through the dates to see pricing. I've seen dates for the New Yorker Hotel as low as $99, but as high as $480. Then I compare prices between different booking sites, including the direct hotel site, because often it's cheapest there. My weekend average to be $204 per night. If the review was helpful, hit that subscribe button so we can make more.